really chilly. I'm waiting for the heating to turn on. I got up pretty early. We went to bed at like, I don't even know. Like I was just falling asleep during the film and then I just got really cold and I was like, I want to go to bed. We definitely went to bed before like midnight. So I've had a decent amount of sleep, although I, I feel a bit rough, but I think that was just because yesterday was such a busy day, like my whole body aches from carrying boxes and stuff. Um, but I thought I'd vlog again today because today is a pretty busy day and I'm still doing like moving stuff. And I didn't bring my lead for this camera and the, this camera uses a micro sim. So I'm going to have to, well I'm going back to my dad's anyway to collect bits and bobs from there. I'll just collect it when I go there later, but it's really annoying because I wanted to edit this, well yesterday's video today. And I can't because I don't have the lead to put the footage on my laptop. Anyway, Doug was early for work, so he said that he would go into town to uh, get himself a Starbucks. And so he's getting me one as well. And he's going to drop it off before he goes to work. I've never actually had like a proper Starbucks at home. First thing in the morning when I get ready, I'm so excited. About to unpack these boxes because they've got clothes in. I'm going to put them in my chest of drawers. So... I can then find something to wear. So a lot of stuff I can't hang up yet because I've only got a few hangers so I need to bring some more hangers tonight. Yeah, just setting in really. I literally love my coffee table so much. Like every time I look at it, I'm like, woohoo. Woohoo. Ice caramel latte, baby. Oh, I'm so pissed off. Oh, I should have filmed it because, oh, I don't know, I panicked. I had my ice caramel latte up here which is no longer up here so you can imagine what happened with my mirror and it was on its side here and for some reason like this part of the um floor goes up a little bit so this is tilted which is really annoying so i sort of had to balance it like that and it was fine and it seemed sturdy but then all of a sudden i just said and it started to slip and it just went and so my starbucks went smack onto the floor oh my God, and it looked like, look, I don't know if you can see, but there's like coffee on my bed. And then like it was on the floor, but I'm hoping I've managed to sort it out. Because like, I live in a rented place, and so I can't mess up the flooring. It looks a little bit damp still, but I think I managed to get all the coffee out. And then look, it went on my bloody jeans. <laughs> so, right, I'm going to probably put those in the wash. The rest are fine, so I'm just going to continue to unpack. <laughs> typical like that's the only starbucks i really spilt that i can remember and it's the one that my boyfriend goes and gets me in the morning how do i have a whole drawer of jeans i've, I've even thrown jeans out that I don't, like i don't need i've been really good but there, there are a few pairs that i've kept because i'm hoping i'll wear them there's a gray pair here that i really love the fit of and i've not really worn grey jeans since I've had them, so I'm gonna try and wear them. If I don't, then I'm gonna sell them. I've only got a few hangers, so I've just hung this stuff up for now. Looking all colourful, and a couple of skirts down there, and then the rest I've just bunged in there because I'm gonna hang that up because they're jumpers and they just take up too much room in there. But I've still got quite a few amount of clothes to bring back from my dad's. I've just put my light stuff here. I have got cupboards up here, so I could put things like lights in there or shoe boxes and stuff. There's actually way more storage here than at my dad's. And then I've got like all the stuff that I need to bring to put like under my bed. Here I've just put t-shirts so that like, I've got pajama stuff here and then like plain vests, um, like, I don't know, pattern t-shirts. Um, I've got all my cropped tea turtlenecks from ASOS here. Um, and then I've got my workout stuff along here. So um, sports bras, Tops. Uh, I don't know where my trousers are actually. I think they're still at my dad's. Then I've just got socks here. And then I've got my thermals here. And then this is just the jeans one, as you've seen. And then this is my <laughs> socks and underwear and tights drawer. I'm just going to wear some black jeans and I think this. Do I want to wear black jeans and a cream jumper? Or do I want to wear a red jumper? Nah, I think I'll go for that one. Okay, so I don't really know where I'm going to do my makeup as of yet. Um, so right now I've just got my usual setup like I normally have at home, but instead I've got this mirror. I think I'm going to try this out. Marcia got it for me. I'm not sure how you use it and when you use it. I'm going to open it up and have a look at the instructions. And I got this the other day, this Bioderma. I know 
everyone seems to have this in the blogosphere. I don't know, I caved in and I finally got it. I actually did a blog post on wanting it, so if you want to see that, I'll link it in the down bar. I actually got the one for dry skin, so this is sensitive dehydrated skin. A lot of people get the pink one. I got the blue one, but I actually don't think it's that great at getting my makeup off. But um, as a cleanser, it's really nice. I'm gonna do my makeup. These bags are from Topshop, by the way, but I got them sort of last year, so they probably don't have them anymore. This is the moisturizer that I've been using. Why is this turned into like some sort of makeup haul? Anyway, I'm gonna do my makeup and then I got a busy day ahead. I'm off into town now. Got my laptop and everything. Oh, there's like so much to do and my natural instinct is to write a list and I don't have any paper. But I think the main thing I need to do is sort out my internet and TV because that might take a while to set up and then sort out cancel tax and all that jazz. And then I need to pop into Martin & Co to um, well, one drop off um, a photocopy of my keys. They photocopied the keys, made me sign it and then gave it to me. And I'm thinking, why are they giving it to me? Like, why am I having to sign it and then give it to myself? And then I got an email saying that they actually need that. <laughs> so I need to go in and do that. I need to also ask them if someone can come in and tell me how the heck um, everything works. Like the boiler, the heating and like how I can get my electric and my gas and my water readings. And that sounds really boring, doesn't it? In Starbucks now. Got my ice cream on last day again. Tastes just as good. So I popped the boots pit and got some food and then person in boots was like you can get a meal deal for 23 more and I was like no I'm okay she's like you can get your bargains and I'm like oh. like I always end up getting a meal deal because the people in boots just like persuade me to so I got some sweet and salty popcorn my favourite got a chicken sapito sapito sapita wrap and <laughs> trying to get out of my bag and this pomegranate drink one of my favourite. I never really get it that much because it's quite expensive. But Boots always have really expensive drinks on their meal deals, so I like make the most of it. So I'm pretty sure that costs just as much as my whole like meal did. Also, I came up here to make calls and stuff. And the music is so loud up here, but it's like too busy downstairs. But there's like no one up here. Which depends what I'm vlogging. But um, yeah, how am I meant to make calls when I can't even hear myself? Boom. Now I'm on the hunt for. Uh, broadband and all that. I'm gonna go with BT. And then I've got a pay for Lime Red, which is so annoying because everyone has their mobiles nowadays and I'm not gonna use my home phone. And um, I already paid £40 pounds a month for my mobile. So now I'm gonna have to like pay 20 quid a month just for a landline just so I can have internet. I just went to Lush and got myself some bath bombs. I don't know whether to do a haul or not. I might do one when I get back, but I haven't really got like my room set up or anything. Good to set up in the living room. I'm trying to find homeware in VHS. I need to get some curtains, but my windows are so freaking like big. I don't have long enough curtains. The ones in there at the moment are the ones that uh, are left there for the tenants, aka me, and they're hideous. So I need to find some nice curtains. Okay, the curtains are 90 quid. I'm not buying them just yet. I'll wait a month or something. But I did find a saucepan set in the sale and it matches my uh, kitchen towel thingy. So I'm thinking I'm going for a clean thing in my bedroom. In, no, kitchen. Mm. So I'm going to pay for these and then go back to Starbucks. So I've set up my um, TV license and my broadband telephone and TV, which um, won't get set up until the 3rd of March, so I've got like just under two weeks, I, I think roughly two weeks or something before that gets set up. So I guess I'm going to be in Starbucks a lot for the next couple of weeks. And I've only got one bar on my camera left, so I might have to start vlogging on my phone until I go pick up the charger later. I don't know how to set up my council pack, so my dad said there's a building in town that I can go in and talk to them about it. I'm currently just going to sit here and do some blog posts because um, I don't want to neglect my blog. Back home now just wanted to drop off these pots and pans i think before i leave the house i'm going to quickly sort out the kitchen just a little bit uh, i i think um i've got some people coming around later um not for very long just for like one or two drinks and then i think we're gonna go out out even though i don't really feel like going out out i just want to hang out here really my battery's literally about to go so I'm probably gonna have to vlog on my phone now. Just unpacked my pots and pans. I have no idea where I'm gonna put the box. I think 
I don't know what I do with rubbish, I need to check actually. So I've just put my pots and pans up here because there's really like no cupboard space at all. There's this little cupboard down here which I just put cleaning stuff in and stuff to wash my clothes in. I've put plates up here and like mugs. I still need to bring the rest of the set around. I mean Doug just like bought whatever, whatever we set our eyes on yesterday and then just like we were like, oh, we'll come get the rest of the stuff tomorrow because we were so tired. And then I've just put utility stuff in there and then the other stuff I can't get stickers off so I'm soaking them so I can peel them off. And then the plates I've had to put here as well as the cutlery because the cutlery drawer and the big plates don't fit in the cupboard, which is a little bit annoying because there's not much cupboard space in the first place. But as it's just me, I'm not going to need that much food. So this is all for food. So um, yeah, it's a small kitchen, but actually... I can fit everything that I need in it. The fridge is still looking bare, so I need to go food shopping. Can you hear that? Someone's like doing drilling or something. I want to get these cleared before I bring more boxes in. I think I'm going to run and go get some flowers quickly. Then run back, drop them off, pop them out. Um, I think I'm going to put them in like this little thing pot I have for my gear. I'll show you later. I don't know what my hair is doing. It's like flicked. So I think I want to get some brightly coloured flowers because everything's quite neutral and white. The other week I did see some lilac coloured tulips and I've never seen lilac tulips before and I thought they looked really nice. But um, I don't know if they still have them so, oh yeah, I can't put my coat on one-handed. So I'll see what I can get. Hi guys, you alright? <laughs> Just got back and completely forgot to vlog because I don't have my camera on me because uh, it has no battery so I'm using my phone and I just forget when I'm using my phone. So I got flowers. They don't really like match, but I thought it'd still look cool even if they don't match. And I just realised I don't have any scissors to cut them down, so I'm gonna have to use like a normal eating knife or something. Um, I got a saucepan as well, which goes with my no, not saucepan, like a frying pan thing. It matches those. It's gonna be nice having new frying pans and pans and saucepans and all that. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now. So I got some gerbers. I got the pinks because. I absolutely love these gerbers. I got two of these and I just love flowers that have like multi-coloured tones so hence why I went for a dark pink and a light pink and then just to add some colour because there was only one light pink um, I just got I'm um, seeing yellow ones as well to make it not look so weird that there's just one pink and I'm just gonna put them in here this is from Ikea I need to chop these down somehow so I need to work out how far I need to chop them uh, <laughs> Probably should cut some more. I think this is too big. There just wasn't enough to put in this one. So I've actually cut them down loads. And I know it's probably not the best way to do it. I know, I know. And I've put it in this pencil holder thing that I have from TK Maxx. I do it ages ago, which is normally on my desk, which is like my for my pencils and that. I think it looks okay. It looks a lot better in that anyway, because they're closer together. Adds a bit of colour to the room, doesn't it? I don't know whether to put it on here and oh my god my landlord's still outside doing stuff and I swear he just saw me talking to you guys. Uh, what I was about to say was I might put them on the coffee table. That's kind of cute there. I think I'm going to take a quick Instagram photo. Oh so my phone ran out of battery as well so I can't remember the last time I spoke to you probably the flowers. So I went back to my dad's place picked up some more stuff like I've got my washing here that I need to do but Doug's stuff is still on the um clothes rail, clothes horse or whatever it is at my dad's and they're still wet so I can't bring that so I can't do any washing. <laughs> bought lots of food, bought some bins, one that I can put into the bathroom and one in the kitchen and just some more clothes and hangers and I bought my computer finally. My dog's just gone to Tesco to get some food for dinner tonight and uh, people aren't coming around until 9.30 which is cool so it gives me time to sort things out and get myself ready because my hair is just like wah. So I've packed half the stuff away, got all the food in the cupboards now, well not all the food but most of it. Not looking as empty, and now I'm just cooking spaghetti and we're just gonna have a ready made sauce with it. I'm trying to figure out where to put these, but yeah, it's starting to look like it's lifted now, and I've put all my teas in that jar. And now we're watching Kick Ass. And I've still got a few boxes to unload. Now, time to sit down for dinner. And I've put this thing that I got from Beyond Retro over the table so I don't stain the table because it's not like varnished. Varnished, and I don't want it varnished because I like it matte. Spaghetti. I'm gonna be a